Hello guys, bless our Wayne to you all and happy Halloween. Um, I hope you are all okay. So I put the space lights on. Um, I figured they would kind of add to the aroma of, of the kind of Samhain vibe that we're going with. I was debating which mask to put on and I went for the cat one because I figured it was a safer bet. But me and my bestie, we bought masks from the Purge. So I thought you'd kind of like to see it before, uh, before we get going on the Halloween one. Look how creepy this is. And it flashes as well so yeah i thought it was pretty cool but i didn't think it was quite right for a public reading so we've gone for the cat we've gone for the cat theme so i hope you're all okay and that you're having a wonderful day um today is the day when the veil between our world and the next is at its thinnest and it's a wonderful day for for um our tribe essentially it's a wonderful day for our tribe it's the day when everything really is very magical and mystical and and totally phenomenal it's also for those of you that believe in the goddess Sarwain is at uh, the time of the crone goddess so this is all about transmutation and letting things go that no longer service so that being said Ellie Slater uh, wrote on the public reading on Thursday that she would like a public Halloween theme of is this relationship going to rise from the dead and that is what we are going to do today so where your relationship has been really cut down and it's not not worked out we're going to do it is it going to rise from the dead so we have two decks to pick from and I think I'm going to put the studio light on for this. Okay studio light is on we can actually see what we're doing I'd have loved to keep it in the dark but I figured it was it was probably too dark. So deck number one is the deviant moon tarot, deck number two is the mystic gothic tarot so we're kind of going with the same theme the Halloween the Samhain theme going on here. Now these are super mini but these are also one of my favourite decks. Um, so go to the deck that you are most drawn to and think about your person and as you're thinking about your person feel that heart centred energy going towards the deck that you are drawn to. Okay, number one, number two. Let's do this. Okay, deck number one. I've also put some oracle cards down at the House of Night oracle cards. Um, I don't tend to use oracle, but they were really calling me towards them for this reading. So deck number one is the uh, relationship. Is their relationship going to rise from the dead? Love that theme. Love that theme. All possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of deck number one and their person. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so is their relationship going to rise from the dead? It's really hard to see this. You have to like really put your, your chin down because um, the mask just kind of cuts out half your eyesight. So you want to look up. Is their relationship going to rise from the dead? One, two, three. Now, if you don't like creepy decks, <laughs> this is a creepy deck. I Both of these decks are kind of creepy decks, but I do, I do love a creepy deck. Right, let's do six. Six feels to be right today. Now, first and foremost, straight off the bat, there is a overlying energy here that this relationship is going to rise back up. So where it's felt like everything has kind of fallen apart, that it's um, it's gone to the wind, spirit are saying, it is going to be a chance of transformation and regrowth. And this is kind of where the crone energy comes forward at this moment in time, where your relationship has been um, very struggling and difficult and kind of come to a close. The crone energy steps in to transform that energy for you to bring in the new love, the new connect, the, the connection between the two of you, the rebonding, the reconnecting. So no matter where your situations are at this moment in time, there is a definite sense of reuniting, rebonding. Spirit is showing me a flower being buried, um, buried, planted, a bulb being planted into the earth. And they're saying, you know, it is only when you plant the bulb and then you cover it, cover it in manure that the flower rises up. And this is a bit like your relationship with your person. You've had to go bury this the, the bulb of your relationship. It's got covered in essentially crap and shit. Ugh. Um, and then it's blossomed, you know, it's blossomed. It, it's going to blossom into a beautiful flower. 
So let's talk through the cards. If you want to just talk tarot, we've got Ace of Pentacles, Chariot, Three of Cups, Ace of Swords and the Lovers. Um, coming back to the Nine of Wands in a second. Your cards have really got this overall feeling of positivity. So the Ace of Pentacles kind of coming up here. They are still clinging on to the situation with you. There is a very strong divine connection happening between you both. And there is this need for rebirth, as we said. Um, and we're get really going through this this phase of rebirth at the moment especially with the full moon coming up on Sunday as well this is a very big time of letting things go and bringing in the new and when we do that you have got this new lust for life this new beginning with the ace of swords kind of coming over here this is also saying that there is a new beginning that's going to be happening between the two of you spirit is saying that they are multifaceted so what they mean by that is that um they have two sides to their personalities on occasions um you might feel like it's hot and cold, coming or going. You're not really sure what, what leg you're meant to be standing on. Um, but overall, this new beginning is stepping very strongly into both of your energy, okay? There will be a need to cut off all the rubbish that's happened with your person in the past. And you've had, like we said, with the flower and the bulb, you've had to go through the darker times to come out the opposite side. And this is where your energy is heading. It's definitely heading towards a period of lightness, a period of coming back together and a period of things moving in the right direction for you. We've got the lovers popping up over here. This is the balancing of your energies, your yin and yang, your light and dark, your good and bad. Um your duality, the reason why you're here. And again, with this multifaceted energy, this is gonna be a very, very divine connection between the two of you. So it's possible that you're twin flames or higher vibrational soulmates. Um, potentially there's a little bit of karmic energy going on between you both. If you need your karmic energy clearing, drop me a message because I do past life readings. So there's potential that there has been a bit of karma between the two of you. But what is certain is there is a lot of um, area for growth with this, a lot of new beginnings coming forward. And we always said, you know, in previous readings, Halloween was going to be a very important time of transitioning and changing. And this is where your relationship is heading. You're very much going to be going through this transition period. Now, you guys are feeling a bit low at the moment. You're feeling a bit down and you're feeling a bit like this kind of wounded healer. Wounded healer? That's exactly what Spirit said. Like you've tried to heal everyone around you and sometimes you're feeling like... How, when does it stop? When, do, when does the, the, this pain, this heartache, when does it stop? Um, and the, the stopping of it, you know, it's here with the chariot, it is here. Um, you're going to be going through a better spell, a better period. Um, obviously, with things that have been happening on a universal level, this person's kind of got the play mask on it as well. That hasn't helped your energy. Treat, please try and stay away from news and social media and things like that. If it is impacting your energy, just be a little bit careful of what you um, are watching and what you are taking into your energy at the moment because you are feeling a little bit vulnerable with everything that has happened here. So just be a little bit wary of that. There's also that vulnerability when it comes to your person, spirit are saying, because they feel, you feel that, you know, maybe they treated you badly, maybe they didn't handle the situation right, and you felt that you were getting stuck between a rock and a hard place. Um, and so you've been feeling a bit sad over the situation, unsure what direction it is to turn, but you have got a resurgence, a very, very clear resurgence coming forward here. Now with the chariot and three of cups, this is also suggesting that things are moving in the right direction for you, that you're gonna get the outcome that it is that you want. You know, there's a celebration popping up here. Um, even, you know, regardless of your individual circumstances, because we work on mutual energy, even in this kind of third party situations, if you're in, they're involved with someone else or you've got someone else, there is still this longer term objective that this can work out between the two of you. It has a very positive feeling to it. You know, a very, very positive feeling to it. And the cards themselves are really positive as well. So there's very much this period of transformation happening between you both. It's going to peak now essentially it's peaking now in the next couple of days and from that peaking energy you can move um forward in the direction that you want this relationship is likely very likely that it's going to resurge and it will rise from the dead so where it's been very complicated and difficult before there is this this ch this change you know you have your energies massively aligning with one another massively aligning with one another let me just pull you some oracle cards from the House of Night. Can you tell me we get number one? Can we have, let's do three oracle cards for if their relationship is going to rise from the dead with the person. One, two, 
two. This I would count it. Oh, I could do this, lovely. Three. Okay. Right. So you have over here loyalty, playful, and choices kind of a hunk, right? So um, so with these three oracle cards, what's coming on here is when this relationship does start to resurge, rather than trying to get bogged down with the heaviness of everything that's happened between you guys in the past, it's really kind of important that you lighten up. Remember why you fell in love with them in the first place and remind them of that. You know, if you remind them why you were kind of involved in this in the first place and we release that heaviness that's around you, um, it will be really beneficial to you both. And you can see the cat as well has got this kind of red thread going on I don't know if you can see red Fred over here red Fred of destiny you know this is really positive for you both there is a number of choices that are going to have to happen between you both you are going to have to sit down and have a really open and honest communication with one another and you will have to listen to each other's side rather than just your own side you'll have to listen to their side as well and again this is kind of the balancing of the duality over here you can see very much this multifaceted energy as spirit said there's also this need for freedom kind of coming over the top of this Okay, so again, releasing what no longer serves you. We would really advise that you use the full moon this weekend to do a releasing uh, kind of ceremony. You can write down what it is that you want to release um, and go out and bury it because the full moon is going into Taurus. So you can go out and bury it. And that's probably the best way. Release it that way. Write down what no longer serves you and let it go. Okay, so really feeling that strong energy coming on here. Um, loyalty. OK, your person doesn't doubt how they feel about you or you don't doubt how you feel about them. They know that there is a very strong love connection between between you both, you know, um, and it has been very difficult. It has kind of had tower moments erupting everywhere. And you might feel as if you've been scarred by the process, you've been scarred by the connection. But there is definitely a rebirth happening here that you're going to go through to the next chapter. But do keep it lighthearted. Do keep it playful. I mean, look how cute this little kitten is, right? Do you keep it, kit, kitten, look, keep it lighthearted and playful when they do, uh, when it does resurge, you know, try not to get too bogged down with the heaviness of it because heaviness at that point could push them away. There will come a point when you will need to, like we said, have that open and honest discussion with them. But when it does resurge, focus on the lighter side of things and wait for the time and place to bring up all the heavy stuff that's happened. And um, because if you do it straight away, you could just back your person into a corner. And this is again, you know, with your nine of wands kind of popping up here, this is your heavy energy that's going on around you at the moment. This is this transformation. But once you've gone through this, coming out the other side, this relationship has got resurgence. It has got a happy outcome. You know, it is there and it is it is rising from the dead. It is going to rise from the dead. And it's not even too far away. You know, you might think that, oh, God, it feels really long distance. Um, for the collective energy of you guys, it isn't far away. You know, it's really this process is kind of starting right here, right now, over these days. This transformation is going forward. You guys are starting to release, surrender, let go. And when you do that, you create space. So the universe has to bring something to equal or more than. So by surrendering, by creating a space, you allow the universe to bring it to you. And this is when we're saying about this ceremony this weekend. If you choose to release it, if you choose to let go and, and go and bury it, what you'll do um, is create space for the universe to bring this relationship back to you. So it is really, really important, really important. Your happy outcomes are over here. You might feel when this does happen a little bit overwhelmed by the situation because you, most of you are thinking, oh God, I don't think it's ever going to happen. So when it does happen, there is this potential that it is going to overwhelm you. Be really careful with your energy with that. Um, maybe get a tourmaline crystal, stick it in your bra. That would be really beneficial to you guys, um, as well as a rose quartz spirit saying. So put the tourmaline and the rose quartz in your bra or under your pillow if you're having nightmares because the tourmaline is going to absorb all the negative energy and transmute it with the rose quartz into a love-based energy so if you're having a few dodgy dreams it's worth doing that okay really positive energy coming forward here yes you've been in a darker spot be an allowance of that you know be an allowance of where you have been and where you are heading and this relationship is going to resurge they still love you they still have very strong feelings for you um, I just heard your loyalty is second to none. And, you know, so through that, that connection again can re be reborn. It can be reborn. Number of choices. Those choices are where this open 
open-hearted communication has to come in but first lighten the mood up before you get into the deep nitty gritty of it all okay guys and that is deck number one so wishing you all a blessed Salwain. my turnaround time is down on readings at the moment because they put my city on lockdown so um if you need me just give me a shout it's up to seven days so it's like at the lowest it's probably been um with going away and then coming back and then the lockdown i was like oh Okay, so there is a lot more space, uh, well, there's the space for readings um, in the next seven days. So if you want me, they're limited, but they're there. Okay, lots of love, guys. I will speak to you soon. God bless deck number one. Okay, for those of you that picked deck number two, the teeny tiny deck, I love this deck, but it's very, very small. Um, I tried to get a bigger copy of it, but they're all sold out still. So we use the teeny tiny deck, but it's adorable. It's kind of creepy as well, so if you don't like creepy cards, again, I'm using all my creepy decks today because I love a creepy deck. Right, think about your person for me. It's really hard to read with this mask on. I have to, like, proper put my head down low. All possibilities, probabilities, choices, choices, and changes of deck number two. Okay, let's do this. Right, Ellie Slater. She said, will this re relationship rise from the dead? Let's do this. Will uh, this relationship, for deck number two, will it rise from the dead? Let's see what comes up. Will this relationship rise from the dead? Two. Three. Four. Remember, as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. I'm going to get eight for you guys. I only use six on the other side. But we're going to do eight. Okay, right. Let's see where we're going with this. You guys have had a really difficult time. Um, it has been very kind of, you've been tormented. You've been feeling very low over this energy, unsure about what direction you're going in, what pathway you need to take, what should be happening next. And there is this overall sense of confusion going on with you guys. You're feeling quite lost. You're, you've got a lot of fear at the moment, Spirit saying it's fear, a lot of fear-based energy that this situation has come to a close, that you don't see how it's going to be reborn, you're not sure how it's going to work out. Spirit is saying really clearly with that, you don't know, need to know the ins and outs of that, that is something that the universe is up to, okay? When you're trying to control the situation, what will happen is you'll end up creating blocks, so you don't need to know the ins and outs of how it's going to resurge, how it's going to work out. Um, but just having faith that it will do, okay? So there is this overall feeling here that you've got this heaviness on your heart and you're feeling a little bit lost, a little bit in turmoil and not sure if this is something that is going to progress. Now, if you look at this skeleton over here, he's got a red robe on. Now, we all know that red uh, symbolises stability and security. So even though the skeleton is there and it's saying like, oh, you know, maybe there's not much left of this, with the red rope being draped around his shoulder, what this is saying is there is room here. There is room that this can come back round and it stands for the stability and security. So even if it feels like you're at a dead end road at the moment, with that red being brought into your energy, this is a resurgence okay you've got your six of cups coming up over here look at the creepy little kids okay six of cups over here that's potentially that there has been issues with children for some of you guys or relationship issues um but there is again this kind of resurgence coming on here both of you are looking back to stuff that's happened in your past and you're worrying um did I do this wrong was it me was it this was it that and you have this tendency a lot of you to kind of get a a seed in your mind, analyze it and then overanalyze it and add two and two and make 30. And the reason for that is because your person hasn't been communicating with you what their end of the, the deal was. But don't put your thoughts into reality. You know, don't let your negative thoughts um, make fact in your mind. OK, unless you know the facts, then try and step away from that energy. Try not to add two and two and make 20. So you have this kind of energy coming forward that your person is still lingering on to the connection. They are still holding on to it. We've got a 10 of pentacles over here. Um, 
even if you guys are trying to move on and or they're trying to move on there is still in the background you can see the creepy man with his head in the door there is still this lingering energy happening between the two of you and there's also this kind of dog energy coming forward the dog being the symbolism of protection so no matter where you've gone and what your what where your relationship currently is there is a resurgence there is a reconnection and it's not over it's still lingering okay it's not done and dusted so where you've got this kind of death card and you're worrying about it you very much got this resurgence over here now if you went for the literal tarot mean of, of the ten of pentacles this is talking about family and happy times and things working uh, between you both and it, again symbolizing that stability and security between you both okay so there's a shift there is a shift in that now your person might not have done anything for a little bit of time, okay? You might feel that they have either blanked you, blocked you, moved on, whatever they've specifically done. Um, but we have got with this, the Knight of Swords coming forward into your energy. So this is an immediate need for communication coming back towards you. Again, if we look at the red, this is based on the stability and security. They still got that armor on. So when they do try and communicate with you, you might find that um, they've got a little bit of a guard up against their heart. And you might feel that you're every time you're making two steps forward you're kind of being hit against a brick wall this is something that's got to melt okay i just saw an iceberg uh, with a flame underneath it melting the ice this relationship has got to melt because there's been a lot of difficult times that have happened between you both okay eight of swords over here your person again at the moment they're feeling a little bit trapped unsure what to do you are still in their mind very much in their mind um in fact, there is a great sense of loss over here as well. You know, we've got these mice at the bottom. They are feeling a loss from this situation. And the longer they build on this feeling of loss, the quicker this movement, this direct communication is going to come in. OK, so there is this communication that is stepping forward with quite an urgency. Um, some of them might act more on this kind of sexual... <laughs> sexual energy than romantic energy again if they do that it's because they've still got this armor on okay still got this armor on um but they might come forward with a bit more of a sexual energy they're really igniting this kind of creative energy within themselves at the moment so what we mean by that is where they're feeling that the relationship is stuck and they don't know how to kind of find a way back to you they're looking for creative outlets on to, trying to find the results how to move forward how to get back to you all right. Um, so they might come forward with something that is a little bit more sexual, which might annoy you, uh, but they don't know how to handle emotions a lot of the time. They're not very good at talking about emotions. They block those emotions out. Um, but it doesn't mean that they don't feel. In fact, they're very, very sensitive, but they just have this very strong wall up around them um, so that they, you know, so that they don't get hurt. They don't want to get into a place where they feel vulnerable because vulnerability is what may, they feel or, or perceive is going to make them look weak, you know. Um, but we don't see it like that because we find, you know, vulnerability is love. You know, it's love for self. It's being aware of who you are. Um, but your person, because they're quite a strong, independent person, uh, can find vul vulnerability as a little bit of a weakness. And so they will often act more on a sexual energy than a heart based energy. So you might need to be a little bit prepared for that. Now, following on from that, we have the Ace of Cups and we also have the Nine of Cups. So overall, this is shifting. OK, there's a shift in this energy. Um, romantic new beginnings and your wishes coming true you're going to be going through a place of uh, quite strong abundance now it's really important with this that you do manifest it as well remember it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to come into reality and um, so if you do find that you're adding two into a making 20 and your thoughts are spiraling it's really important that you break that momentum if you need a manifesting plan doing to bring this into your life just give me a shout because i do individual ones that just tailored to you and what you want and um, they've got a really good success rate so if you want one, just give me a shout, okay? Your person um, wants to offer you a cup. They want to offer you a cup of their emotions. They want to offer you much more stability than what they have done before. At the moment, they're just working out how to get back to you, okay? They want this, but they need to work out how to find their way back to you. And that is going to come through periods of reflection. They realise that they made some, some very painful words painful decisions painful choices they know that they've hurt you but now they're really as well feeling the sense of loss and through that sense of loss that is when that pull back to towards you will get really really strong i just saw um always do the hand actions when i get clairvoyant images a tug of war with the rope you know 
um, pulling you towards them and you pulling back and you kind of try to balance this energy out between the both of you but it has become quite complex and difficult but they want to offer you this love they want to offer you these emotions they want to open offer them with more of an open heart but they just don't know how to melt that ice around them and melt the way that ice is going to be melted is with love and they know that you are the only person that can melt that ice as well Okay, let me just do some oracle cards as well. I haven't used oracle cards in forever, um, but these cards really fit with this kind of Sawain energy going on. Can I have three cards for deck number two? Oh, you've got the same card as deck number one. Three cards for deck number two. Okay, so you've got choices, deceit and understanding. So let's talk about this one first. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. You guys are feeling that they've let you down, okay? They, you're feeling that they um, betrayed you or they just, you know, let the, the situation go. And there can be a little bit of anger coming up on your guys' part. This doesn't necessarily mean anything negative about them going off and being with other people, unless you are aware of that, okay? If you are aware of that, that's what this will stand for. If you're not aware about that, this is how they treated you and you're feeling that, very strong loss that they let you down and that it scarred you. Now with this is kind of a very strong phoenix ride rising from the ashes feeling going on here. So through being this being burnt, through having that pain and allowing that pain and that anger, you know, the duality side of things again, the, the light and the dark, the good and the bad, by embracing the shadow side that you're you've been working through, you're rising from those ashes. Okay. Um, and this is something that can shift Again, there's a shift in that energy. You've both got a very strong fire energy around you at the moment. So this is saying, um, you know, sometimes a hurricane and a tornado, when you meet in the middle, it creates these explosions. So when you do get this chance and they come towards you with some form of offer, you're going to need to uh, be very open with that communication that happens. So you're going to have choices over this. If this is something that you want to go through, if this is something that you want to work out, that is going to come down to you guys. It's not going to come down to your person. It is down to you. Um, is this a situation that you want? You know, is this something that you want again? Because they're going to offer you it, but you have to work out if this is what you want um, because of how they've hurt you. You know, is this something you can get over? Can you build trust with each other again? That is going to come down to you guys openly communicating and working through those blocks. And your person will have to melt that ice. You know, the love will melt the ice because they're missing you. Um, but they need that ice to turn to water and that water will be the emotions that they can talk to you about. It's also with this understanding card over here, your person needs to understand uh, what they've done and you need to understand their point of view on it as well. So there's two very different perspectives happening here and it's important that you guys meet in the middle. OK, you, you do need to understand one another's point of view on it. And you're, and again, this is why your person's ice is going to need to melt. Once that ice is thawed, this cup of live, this love cup is here. This love cup is here, but you will, um, it's very much about leaving the past behind so that you can move forward into the future together. Okay, if you linger where you are now and it comes back round and everything keeps repeating itself, you've really got to work out what you want. All right, so lots of potential, lots of potential for deck number two uh, for this relationship to rise from the dead. And if we go back to the tarot and we look at the Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups over here, the potential is massive. The potential is massive. Your person is going to offer you um, love and heart-centered energy, potentially with a little bit of um, the mask to begin with. But once it falls, they'll offer you more. And from there, you can decide about what it is that you want. They are still watching you as well. So if they are on social media, uh, not all of them are, or not all of you are, but there is this way uh, for the majority of you as your collective energy, there is a way that your person is checking up on you, watching you. So they haven't moved on. They haven't let go. Um, they are wanting to come back towards you with some form of offer. Um, you've just got to work through the dark, work through the shadows. And if you guys can do that, then this relationship will rise again. If you can't, you've got to reassess what it is that you want. And that is debt number two. So my turnaround time is currently down at the moment. They put my city on lockdown. Um, 
kind of in the city of Stoke and Trent and England have started doing this tier thing um, and my city went up in the tiers. So I am just at home now working all the time. So the turnaround time for readings is down. So if you want me, it's a really good time to book. Um, I'm wishing you all a really blessed Samhain and a happy full moon. Look after yourselves, my angels. I will speak to you all next week. Um, have a wonderful time tonight, whatever you're doing, whether you're trick or treating or watching scary movies or going out with your friends, whatever you are doing tonight, have an absolutely incredible time. Enjoy the veil being at its thinnest. Um, keep safe, all of you. And I love you all lots, my beautiful mystic tribe. Speak soon. Ciao.